Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF bringing you episode 27 of Let's Try Shadow Empire with the Oceania DLC. Bong bong, let's get it. So I hope you guys are doing well. We are playing an Oceania DLC map, so that is cool. We're just starting to get in touch with the maritime trade houses and stuff like that. Very interesting stuff. So yeah, today we're going to continue learning and being schooled by the game. Um, it looks like we've made everybody move here that we want to, I would say. Um, we started with the railroad. We're going to make a, a rail across the country. I don't know if there's any other stratagems we want to play. Uh, we do have a fate point. Propaganda. Don't really want to use propaganda. Boomtown is very cool and it's only one fate point. But there is this thing if we, you know, take that chemical high where our new doctors in town selling pills of many colors and many pleasures want one, gain two fate points. But a random zone will get a 6 D10 increase in unrest, and that seems like excessive. Let's see what happens. Gain two fate points. Roger that. A new rage spread among our youngsters in Boston. They are wild and parting like there's no tomorrow. Windows have been broken. Law enforcement has been in scuffles. Unrest plus 23, fate points plus two. So I don't know. Oh, there's, there's unrest. It shows down here. I don't know if I want to go through with this. Because I don't know the long-term effects of unrest. We could then, though... Have a popular rally. Gain happiness and loyalty. Does not lower unrest, though. Expel population probably lo lowers unrest. Yep, unrest will fall, but fear will rise with the same. So you don't want to do that either. Population suffers casualties, even more will be deported. Yeah, that's not good. Antitrust ops, um, corporation control and zone will be diminished. Yeah, I don't know if I want to have 23 unrest, like, just for the sage. And let's execute that. Copy that. We found this extremely intelligent scientist wandering our streets like a lost puppy. We pushed Vlad Tudor into our service. You can find him in the reserve pool. So if we look at him in the reserve pool. Probably three, Vlad Tudor. Reserve pool member, 46-year-old, cap three. Yeah, I mean, he's really good. Look at these stats. Big time inventor, even. Wow, that's serious. He's a covert ops. Yeah, I mean, what would we do with him, really, though? We can have him command a, a battalion, but that's really kind of underusing, underutilizing his talents. He'd be more of like a, a, a leader, a council leader. Yeah, so I'm not going to do this. Um, so we're not going to have unrest rise. We're not going to take any strange pills. From any weird doctors. At least not right now. <laughs> so I'm probably going to do Boomtown since we got it. Um, why not? Uh, population will increase 10 d10 times 100 one fate point Roger that. Boston has suddenly turned very popular with settlers I don't think they'll find the pot of gold they're looking for but in the meantime it causes a nice population boom for us 5700 yeah that's pretty sweet um we have popular rally alright that's a propaganda 
that's all I want to use for now. So I guess we're going to head to the next turn and hope for the best. Look at this, guys. There's so much of this planet we haven't even seen yet. We're just trying to control this little area down here. We're seeing a shifty. We're loved, but it's dropping fast. Really dropping fast. I gave the soldiers a salary increase, and it, it did not care at all. So we could end up losing by, like, a coup from the military or something. Unless we start winning some battles. But that relies on my logistics and stuff like that as the leader here. Oh. No losses or kills, three decisions, yep. De full blown decade of fanaticism. Effect is very serious, 83, and there's 12 turns left till it starts diminishing. Failed to deliver on the soldier's morale. Stratagems generated, give 500 to populace, support faction, resource rumors, nice. And limit trade, unilaterally reduce trade level, mystic priest. Oh, Maritime trade house Scotty Waters has started an auction, whatever that means. But, um, yeah, it's not looking good in some ways. Oh, we're in early civilization. That's cool. Danger's going down. Okay, they're liking me again, but... Look at our reports. Scene is shifty. Okay, we're going back up. Oh, we're going back up big time. Oh, now they get the raise. That's why we gave them the raise. Now they're getting the uh, effects of it. Oh, I don't want to see this. Bad supply. Hunger. Bad supply. Again, only 4% sent. I don't know why that is. Let's see how they're acting. 59. Oh, they're bad supply. I mean, the supply is not terrible. Up there. These guys are still at 100. Oh, these guys, since we cut off that road. Oh, wow, their supply is terrible. These guys' supply is terrible. We're gonna have to turn back. Um, I'm trying to build here in Roseworth. Okay, so it looks like 0.7 turn, that'll be done. So when that is done, hopefully it kind of, you know, evens things out here. We're not getting less many industrial points. We come here and look at our assets in the city, industry two has to be paid for and it's almost done 0.5 turns left this is done supply base one it's providing a logistical extension maybe we can see it maybe we can't pumping it out here a bit and let's see It's not getting out this far. It's going up here okay. Not getting down here. We have to get back to this road and stuff. And the soldiers aren't going to be happy. It's just difficult to run this, the logistics. Show bottlenecks. I'm not sure what that's showing, but... 0% oh yeah, I don't know what that's like is that showing the good routes but supplies like got to them and they're still not supplied well like what is going on is it a food thing advice low treasury level yeah, we could sell some. Oh, wow, we're losing a lot of metal to pay for this industry, too. Uh, I'd hate to lose the, the playthrough now. 
after putting so much into it. But it's really... Oh no, here's who got the supplies. Uh, no, not really. Yeah, it's just not looking good. Nothing getting down here. Some are still going down here for some reason to reach these guys. These guys have to come over here. Alright, let's see what we can do about maneuvering here. Get some better supplies, move you. Just forget about those. Um. Omnivores or whatever. We have to protect our town though, I shouldn't have moved them. Let's just move these guys there. Move these guys. There's 97 here. Move them there. Now it's down to 38. 11,700. Yeah, that's just too much. These guys are going to the base. Everybody's going back. Because supply issues. We don't have the industrial points to build a road right now until that Industry 2 is done in the city. Um, gonna have to abandon the process tunnel right now. Maybe we can build a road here though. Going to pro to the town. All right. Um, it's as good as it gets for them. Now these guys over here do have some supplies, but not really enough that I feel comfortable going out nine hundred, sixteen hundred. Look how many free folk we lost. They were at 2300 or something. Now they're at 900. Maybe we just have too many units. That's why the food isn't getting around well. Let's remove the traffic sign here. these guys no they're pretty well supplied but they won't be for long come down here how many points 30 AP 15 AP 15 AP 15 AP nice 15 AP as far as I want to go. These guys are not that well supplied. They've got to come back to like here. These guys are well I mean if they're if they're dying of hunger or whatever it's gonna equilateralize how many troops we should be having out there once the food kind of sorts itself out I guess. I hate to do this. Push them out further. 25 AP. Uh, that's as far as I want to go, these guys. Come back. Let the supply base kind of do its trick. These guys are okay supplied, I guess. 50 AP to go there. 20. 
He's regaining a little bit of land. These guys back. Now these guys are at a hundred. It's no real problem for them thus far. Twenty-five. Thirty-five. Twenty-five. I want to go this way. These guys, um... Twenty-five. Thirty-five. If I have nice 40, um, these guys here move into Money Hill a bit. Logistics are not going to reach them, but that's okay. 30, 60, 65, 30. These guys are getting a hundred and I would have to build a road from there going this way. They're getting a hundred going out here. I thought I put a traffic sign there. Block all from the top. Well, no, wait. No, like, so they'll send their hundred up top, hopefully. Yeah. I don't know. It's fun though, I know that. <laughs> um, metal mining. Yeah, the reason we're losing so much metal is because we're paying for this, 748 a turn. But one more turn and it's done. We've paid pretty much everything. And that's going to be huge. That's going to be major. Um, produce 20 logistical extension. It was 20, 36, 25, 11. Hmm. Not great numbers. So we go from 153 to 122 because we spend all these fours going down this way. So I would have to put a traffic sign right here. Right? No, wait, I'd have to. Oh, leaving the hex in this direction. Right, that's why I don't want that blocked. I messed that up. So leaving the hex here. Down, down. So that'll save some points there. But this has 100 points to give. If I could make a road coming out of here towards this area, that'd be nice. But we just don't have that many extension po uh, industrial points right now. Like I would put it right here and do that, at least for now. Okay. And I guess we maybe could micromanage a little bit, block them from going down there, but they won't go down there because there's no one down there. Oh, these guys can still move. Let's move them back so they can get a, well, a little more supply. And I'm gonna back up a bit. Let's 
So how you move your characters too definitely matters. Like keeping them somewhat together is better for logistics. Like spreading out like that is going to be tough to keep them supplied. But uh, let's look at our decisions. MTH stock auction. Stir, sir. Scotty, Scotty Waters Maritime Trade House Stock Auction. Their clan elder's name is Jack DeCrew Scotty Waters. One share in Scotty Waters for sale. Seller is Scotty Waters. Minimum bid requested 490 credits. Bid 490. Or you could stop any further bidding this turn. For one share in Scotty Waters. I don't know about that. Hamill Sunset demands release of Spy. Oh, nice. Love it. Let's um get a bunch of old heart here. Our heart's at 52. This will take it to over 60. We're, we already have joint struggle, don't we? People loyalty bonus plus 50%. I'm not sure. Uh, they're offering 11 political points. Do I need any mind? Getting to 60 will gain a research bonus 40%. Stratagem Rush and a unit feat engineer team. Logical thought. Um, but this increases relations too. So we'll return the spy and refuse their payment. Yes, sir. Hamill Sun State was pleasantly surprised with our kind offer. Tank Sideway Interior Council plus 2. Relation with the Hamill Sun State plus 10. Heart plus 14. Unit decisions, appoint new commander for 1st MG Infantry Brigade. Brid, Brigade, sorry. Oh, Mara Eastwood, who is she? Oh good, she's a lead circle member, so she's gonna go in there. Lead from front, offensive tactics, high command, tank, infantry, okay. Heart, democracy, militia, nice. Pretty ambitious, cap two. We'll appoint her. Honored with the trust, sir. I'll strive to make the brigade the best unit around. Relation improved plus 10. I want to bid on this, but I'm not sure. Um. Trade report? Where's the MTH report? Man resolve the morale. We have a mystic temple, a mystic priest, elite circle, democracy is increased at a plus level, organization zones, MTH's overview, Scotty Waters, communicating one zone, four ships, 14 MTH shares. No contracts. Piracy attitude, slightly pro piracy. Piracy attitude concerning, concerning a regime is plus 14. The higher the piracy attitude, the more likely the MTH will be tempted to sign contracts with minor regime pirates to transport them to your shores. Relation is stranglehold, 53. Your relation has a big impact on the prices you'll be able to negotiate on any contract signed with this MTH. Trade policy towards you is stranglehold. Money grubbers. This MTH is run by maritime scrooges. They tend to pay lower dividends and quickly change their trade policies to abuse or worse. 48 greed. The greed rating impacts the size of dividends paid, base price of auctions, and the likelihood of the MTH abusing its monopolist position. 58 aggression, willingness of the MTH to go to war, the level of enthusiasm, enthusiasm to sign contracts with pirate miners, adjusted for its piracy attitude, rating of 1 to 100, 45 expansionist, the desire of the MTH to invest treasury in constructing new ships instead of paying them out as dividends, warfare 55, the level of skill the MTH leadership shows in commanding their fleet in battle against other MTHs, 2,000 tonnage available. If the MTH starts transporting more logistical points than it has tonnage available, the price for further contracts will start to rise very quickly. 
On the other hand, MTH contract prices tend to be lower if they have plenty of ships available to do the job. Price analytics. Base price for 500 logistical points, so that's what they trade. It's expected to be around 350 credits. An MTH with equal demand and supply would charge 1,000 credits. An MTH with no demand can have a base supply as low as 350. Well, shareholder. Dividend paid, treasury credits unknown. You need to be a shareholder of the MTH to access this information. Four ships. The bigger the fleet, the better the MTH can fight its enemies and more contracts it can sign at a reasonable price. Trade. MTH trading report. Oh, we can't actually trade with them. Sell prices. High tech, 84. Wow. support score moderate is that zero the more negative the score becomes the more chance there is the elder will be replaced by a new one a new elder mean will mean new aggression expansionist and war ratings for the mth clan elder profile hidden need to be a shareholder i mean it's the only one we have having a built really bad relation with the mth can more than triple prices during contract negotiations Having a really good relation can potentially have prices. Having shares in the MTH will also improve your contract negotiations. Liquidity, basically the MTH analysis of the global financial liquidity of all major regimes and adjusts prices accordingly. So we can get logistic points or something. You need to be a shareholder to get information on the MTH relations with other major regimes and other MTHs. I think I'm willing to check them out. Something to do. Minus one troopers due to starvation. Yeah, we're losing, like... That's the only problem with losing them through starvation. Other than losing the troops themselves, we're also getting hit, you know, with the morale loss. So we have too many troopers is the problem. But I want to be a shareholder. I don't... 490 seems a bit steep. And we don't have a lot of stuff to sell, actually. Rare Earth. We have plenty of Rare Earth to sell. Two hundred forty of it for six sixty four credits. Managed to increase the price 16 credits in the final bargain. And sell food. The workers and soldiers need food in order not to starve. Sent to units 242. Delivered from zones 499. Consumed by troops in the SHQ 41. Okay, something is weird about the food. Let me call up the secretary. No, let me call up... Um... My governor. 
Oh, he's not my personnel. Here we go. Let's call up. Um, Cornelius Dubon. I guess I can't call him from here. Oh, there it is. Call him. Um, Roger that. Zone orders. We're going to have to allow supplying units of the shortfall. And we're allowing emergency food. Um, public budget, let's increase to 200 credits. That's going to help. Oh, minimum bid is 490. Well, we won't loot. Like, if we. Let's bid 500, but we won't lose that if we win. I mean, if we don't win. Yes, sir. All right, sir. Our bid has been communicated. 500 credits have been put in reserve. All right. Yeah, this could definitely go the way of soldiers revolting against me because of the situations in the uh, in the actual battalions and stuff. Peoples are starving a lot. Um, wow, look at that range. Honestly, just stay there. guys like anything to make logistics as easy as possible in terms of your distribution these guys aren't going to get probably supplies and it's all learning because now like when we play a turn we'll see how it goes again and I'll know for the future limit trade will decrease your relation your fist profile will go up half your relation loss and you lose a trade level Open contact. Ah, oh, open contact with Vertifel. Not a valid target. Oh, contact is already open with them. In Hamilton State, we can go to Dessau. Relations only 38 with them. Ask a friend, Vertifel. No, Vernafel's not a friend. 87 relation with Hamill Sun State, but they, their wanted relationship with me is like 20. <laughs> it's terrible. Um, resource rumors. Talk and bribe MTH staff to learn information on his own. Cost 100 credits. It's a spy stratagem. Nation... What would it cost to scrap these? One to seven points for the sage. Might have to start scrapping. I wish there was something good we could do for the military. to somebody they have one 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 all my Um, motor 
Authorized units pretty much have one. Wow, they're down to 900 whirlwinds. They were like a lot more than that. Um, let's give it to 7th Boston Guards Regiment. Yeah, we have so many troops, like... We don't have enough food to go around or something, or we're not distributing it enough. Starvation, one of regular artillery, oh man. If we come here and do it. SHQ to the zone, let's just... Wait, SHQ to the zone. Let's just put that up there, I don't know. Replacement units, put that up there too. Getting that. If we get someone up here, we can maybe get some logistical points coming down this way if we get a road up that way. Alright, so that's probably going to do it for this turn. Let's see where we're at. 37 minutes, so I will go ahead and end the turn. And hopefully, I don't get shot in the meantime. <laughs> Still, it's so fun. It's just awesome running a nation in this game. Really cool. And the military. Okay, it looks like uh, we're safe so far. Oh, oh. Okay. Suffered no losses. Three decisions. 102 reports. Elections have been held in Justice Knights. The old minority won the elections with 39% of the vote. Full-blown decade of fanaticism, very serious, 95, 11 more turns. Map hexes count with recon on them at 1441, and that is lower than 1449. We promised to elite circle. Gained accomplished envoys. Fate stratagem pack. Something else. Four new fate stratagems. GR Thunderous. We found a rare battery of GR artillery. Use it to judge it. It is rumored to be very lethal. Another Boomtown GR Phantasma. We found some intact GR recon buggies. Excellent recon and hide. Blame it on the vodka. One of your happiest and most intelligent leaders becomes alcoholic. Gain one fate point. Ooh, makeshift port. Wow, there it is right there. Ask an MTH to construct a makeshift port on a coastal hex that has naval logistics. There's sales tax. Spy team. Oh my gosh. One bid of 500 credits on the Scotty Waters was the highest. We won the auction. We now own a total of one share. Oh my goodness. That was crazy. We're feeble with our word, which is not good. Soldier support continues to go down. But wow, this is awesome. Oh, not well, 15 units. Not that bad. Elite circle is low re relation. Not that bad in terms of supply issues. Oh, we have 183 negative cash flow. Treasury cash flow. What? What's costing so much? Salary. 194, that's a lot. Two hundred credits given. Maybe it's for that. Two percent on high velocity guns. Now we're getting over two hundred points. Not a 
online forces taking our exports. Man resolved. All right, we're gonna reload and get a little more recon because that's pretty ridiculous. Well, we have no way of doing that, do we? Unless I had a way to load two rounds ago. We'll see. Let's see if I put a spy out there. Let's throw a spy in Mothram. Ah, uh, covert ops. Oh, wait, we don't have a spy card. Oh, and I lost all that awesome stuff that we got, all the fate and everything. We need like eight more tiles. How are we going to get eight more tiles, son? What if we just charge these guys in there to get eight tiles? Probably won't get eight. See if that changes the recon a bit. I don't know. Even bringing these guys in. Keeps gonna starve, but let's see if we make our promise. Hmm. Gotta save here. New stratagems, recon contract, corporate scientist, recruit an experienced scientist from the corporate workforce. Oh man, we didn't get political aid truck. We didn't get anything. We didn't get. Oh man. I messed up. I should have saved first. And let's see what these guys' supply is. But that's weird because it didn't say whether we made. Our, uh, our promise. Yeah, they're at zero supply. These guys are terrible. Oh, man. These guys are pretty good, though. Look at that supply. Look at that supply. Yeah, it's still bad down here. We have to get them over to the right more, to the east. Yeah, we gotta get them more to the east, but that's gonna come through. These guys are still at 100. Alright guys, we gotta save here. It's too legit right now. It's too cool. It's just, this game is awesome. I love it. Um, we didn't get, unfortunately, set up a, a coastal port. You know... But I guess we also didn't get a bunch of bad stuff that could have happened. I don't really want a corporate scientist. Recon contract. I don't really want that. Mari Eastwood joined Elite Circle. We got a political aid truck from the Lawful League. Heart Plus with Justice Knights. Corporation gives... Yeah, and demand resolved, but we should have another demand. Right, 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 right. Do we have another demand? Um, and we're not busted with our cash flow yeah it was because I made a
Oh, I forgot. We didn't do the investment and stuff. I thought it saves. I don't know, guys. I think I messed up. I loaded the road wrong round. I wanted... Yeah, I loaded the wrong round. I think I wanted round 31. Let's see if this is it. Maybe I just didn't get it yet. Huh. Like... Let's see the, um... Demand overview. Where's the demand overview? Recon... Deadline round 33, two rounds left. Oh. Oh, these guys aren't moved and stuff. We, we have to... I'm so sorry, guys. I... Totally screwed this up by not saving and just quitting and stuff, but let's try round 32. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for uh, joining me. As always, y'all make the world go round. Oh, here we go. Okay, so from here, if we look. next round is okay now we're good we don't have all the uh the cool stuff we got but we might get it again i don't know how to okay we just gotta save <laughs> thank you so much for joining me um you guys are awesome. I hope you enjoyed this episode and are enjoying the series. If you are, please consider dropping a like and giving a thumbs up. It lets me know, not only does it let me know that you care, but it also helps this video and this series and my channel as a whole. It really helps the algorithm and stuff like that. So please consider doing that. You can also, 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 um, Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I do read and respond to all of them in time. Just bear with me on those. And you can subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification bell. But only do any of those things if you really want to. Um, no pressure. I don't want to pressure you guys. It's all good. Whatever you choose to do. Look at this. We know all about Ro Rockus. Over there. Wow. They've got a nice little logistical network going. But anyway, that's Vertifel. Rockus, right? That's Vertifel. No, that's Wolfen. Oh, wait, that's Vertifel, yeah. But down here... Oh, yeah, it's down here. This little bit is not aligned. And then there's Vertifel, okay. But yeah, guys, uh, I hope to see you guys next time because, wow, we are really unlocking a lot of stuff. Hopefully we get some of those same stratagems as we did. I'm just going to move them. Uh wanted to see if they would well it doesn't matter we resolved this turn with the um the recon thing but yeah check me out next episode we'll see how it goes i will see you guys then until then be well live well stay well guys and much love peace and joy again thank you so much for watching appreciate y'all peace